Hi, everyone. It's Sean from STK Markets here this morning. This is, it's a massive, massive morning for Southern Cross Gold again. Uh, we've had another announcement, uh, or they've had another announcement, sorry, uh, which is just outstanding. I've got Mike Hudson here with me this morning. G'day, Mike. How happy are you today? <laughs> now, I should be very happy, and I am, Sean. Thanks uh, for grabbing a few minutes uh, in, in what is no doubt uh, a busy morning for us. Yeah, it's going to be a hectic one with, with these results. And I mean, there's a beautiful new background picture you've got there, Mike. You can see a lot of gold there. So we'll talk to that in a little bit. But, uh, mate, can you just run through these results for layman and what it actually means uh, for investors and for Southern Cross Gold? I mean, this is just another outstanding hit, hit after hit. It's like you just got the song on repeat. You just keep making these massive announcements and they just keep getting bigger, bigger, better, deeper. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, let's go through it, shall we? Yeah, sure. It's uh, it, it it's 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 the best hole on the property on many levels. So it's the best cumulative gram metre hole. It was two thousand four hundred uh, gram metres. It was uh, the best individual intersection. You know, when we we when we take the lower grades and put them all together, it's three hundred thirty one metres at six point eight grams gold. That's just nuts in itself. But it had three of the individual highest grade intervals in in the uh, in the deposit in this hole so three of the top five in this hole alone when you just apply more strict criteria including 13 meters at 90 grams 60 at nine meters at five grams and and five meters at 60 grams all individual and you know it, it, it hit mineralization over 700 meters it was the deepest mineralization that we've drilled on the property it showed great continuity from surface to 550 meters in one of the key veins that we've drilled at, at rising sun uh, it had seven intervals above 100 grams. Um, it got hit the, it's hit the highest individual grade on the project, 4,190 grams. This stuff is nuts, nearly half a percent gold, and that's what you can see behind my head here. So then the most important thing, the most important thing is that it's a 200 metre on average, so about 180 metres or 160 metres, I should say, to 290 metre step out from hole 77, which 77B, which is our previous best hole. So this is a, a big step out. Put it in the SCG or MCG terms, you know, and look 200 plus metres away. And, and uh, you know, we got our best, the best hole until today. Um, 200 meters above our our next our best hole which is today which is 82 and this is 77 and uh it's open it's uh it's it's into open into virgin territory and and we're onto a very 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 high grade uh part of the system this will be one of the best holes on the asx for any global project this year one of the better holes globally uh and uh, in context with all those metrics that i just told you it's um it's uh, yeah, it's it's the, the the pick of the crop really. It's uh, it's quite an amazing. So talking about your MCG SCG, you, you've absolutely hit a six with this one, uh, which is outstanding. So we're looking at building up a system, building up a discovery, firming it up, firming it up, and, and this just shows we've got what it takes. I mean, the biggest comparison, which we've already spoken about since we started working together quite a few years ago, was the Fosterville and Costa Fields of the world where I know Fosterville was making a billion dollars a year uh, from sales of gold, and it was just hugely profitable because that high-grade epizone system. Now, is this showing more and more similarities to that type of deposit? Are we, are we getting there where the big end of town is going to start looking going, holy crap, this is just getting that big and that good? We've got to start taking notice because I've noticed the share price has been creeping up. Well, Sean, uh, absolutely this is a, a Fosterville or Costafield or Sunday Creek epizonal style system they're they're all part of the same mineralization event so we're in the shadow of the head frames of fosterville now you said a billion bucks a year i think it was closer to a billion and a half bucks a year it was spitting out it was the highest grade gold mine for four of the last six years it was the lowest cost gold mine on earth that was uh, they're producing at an asic all in sustaining cost less than 300 bucks it was the highest grade like underground gold mine at 40 gram head grade it was incredible what we've got is a variation on the theme, but we're seeing those very, very high grades that they did. So, yes, this is this this is 
creating that vision that we're on to another one of these systems. But we've got to really prove that this system holds together. It's got that continuity. It's got the grade um, and it's got the scale that it can be something in its own right because we've moved past analogs, I think, in many respects. You know, the thesis has worked. Yes, we're on another t- on one of these systems, and and now um, a- a- absolutely, this is getting huge attention globally. What what I have to say is, when I'm thinking about it, that the sweet spot for Fosterville wasn't huge. It was the size of the MCG pitch or a football pitch. So the area we're drilling out now, where you've stepped out 200 meters, and we're seeing these huge grades, we do some infill drilling. We could have that huge discovery in where we've already drilled. And let's not forget, you've got 10 kilometres of territory. This could be an absolute monster. That's the vision, Sean. We're here to create something very large, uh, tier one grade. I mean, clearly these these intersections benchmark globally are, are world leading in terms of their frequency and and. Uh, and how many how many of the 100 plus gram meters we always talk about that now we're getting thousands of gram meter in I know it's awesome isn't it yeah but um yeah it is a, a real opportunity here it's open down dip these high grades this is the deepest hole under rising sun hole 82 so it's literally what's under there um you know we're victims of our own success in many ways i've, I've said this before is that this is a 200 meter uh, step out. So now <laughs> we've got to infill between there to put these in into resources and it's open. So we're not stopping. We're not coming off that Lasson curve, right? Because we're clearly making this bigger. And that's where all of us who are invested in Southern Cross will make their money uh, if it's for us to continue to discover. Um, and, and rather than put a pin in it and focus um, on one small area where we're, we've got this high grade system and it's just getting bigger and bigger. So we're, we're moving to drill that um, that out um, over a larger scale, or moving away from those known high grades. Remembering our, our three prong strategy is to demonstrate volume. So extend um, out, uh, demonstrate grade. We're doing that in spades and, and the, the, the strategy is working. Uh, and and we're, it's very fortunate the grades that we're finding, no doubt, but we've got to focus in and around that high grade part of the system, move away from it. And that's just pivoted over the last month or two that we, rather than just pure exploration on where and how big is this looking to, well, this is big. Um, now let's focus on the best parts and move away from those. And then the district scale system that uh, extends over at least eight kilometres where the, the only press release a couple of weeks ago put out you know, 15 to 20 gram hits um, four to eight kilometres away. So as you say, it's uh, it's got some scale to it too. Just having a think, about where the share price could go because I, I know we listed it uh, at a very modest valuation because you already had some quite successful drilling. So we knew there was gold in the ground. Over a year and a half, you've definitely demonstrated this system is, is bloody amazing. Uh, we've got about a market cap of approximately $100 million at the moment. If you're just thinking, just take that fossil example of $1.5 billion, this market cap can go huge from here. I mean, we're, we're still... In terms of valuation, it's still relatively modest to the current share price. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> well, it's my job to drill the goal. What I can tell you is that, um, well, it's 140 million market cap now, uh, uh, Southern Cross at 78 cents, which is how we were starting pre trade today, or well, how we finished on Friday, I should say. Um, and and what we've got is a hell of a lot of drill results. There's always news flow coming. So it's certainly far from a done deal, right? And everybody thinks, oh, well, it's just another hole. Mark can't get any better. And we continue to to demonstrate that this system is getting better and good systems do that, right? We're focusing on the high-grade parts of the system. I said it's just pivoted. So when you start looking at the high-grade parts of the system, you want them to hold up. And if you're not finding more high-grade around high-grade, you're in trouble. But we're, we're the opposite to that. And that's why good systems get better because you get to understand them and you focus on the best parts of them. So it's a real red flag if you're not getting better, but uh, you want to see them get better. So you, you, your readers can look at that. There's another 18 holes total in the lab. So always news flow coming. We're into a great system. And, um, you know, these the, where we're heading is to define, our aim is to define a multi-million ounce tier one grade deposit here. And, and if we're successful those ounces will be valued a lot more than our peers 
uh, anywhere around the world because the, the quality of those ounces, that tier one grade that we're looking like we're heading to, you know, we've got to do a lot of work. That's I don't want to get too much into the forward looking statements, but that's our aim. And and if, if we're successful, this is going to be a rare and very valuable asset. But, but what you've just said there, and I, that all sounds fantastic, but the key thing which investors want to know is you, you've, you've nailed it with news flow. It, it's it's it. just shaping up very nicely, Sean. The news flow, as you've said, has just got better and better, and that's a nature we're very fortunate. We're all very fortunate that we're in a great deposit here. You know, that this this mineralisation were formed 380 million years ago, and, and we can all be thankful that uh, that we're happy to put drill holes in and around this system that just looks like it's uh, you know one of those rare events. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased to hear all that. I mean, it, it, it's just very telling when you've got that beautiful picture behind you, mate, with that beautiful gold. Uh, it's just amazing. So we've got wells. So there, there is a lot of news flow coming. Those drill rigs keep on turning. The drillers have invested, the labs have invested. We've all got people who are on this team that have put in serious money in this project. I know you've invested seriously. I've put a lot of money in myself. Uh, everyone who's involved has backed this to the cows come home, so we're all very fortunate. And just want to say thank you very much, Mike, for finding it. It's, uh, let's hope it just keeps getting better and better. So do we, Sean, and uh, the, the, the trend is our friend. Yeah, well, I think we've got a lot of support there now with this extra hole coming out. The share price has definitely found that stability around the 80 cent level. I mean, it floats up and down like it does in any market. The gold price, with the unfortunate things that are happening overseas, is virtually almost hitting all time highs. So we've certainly got the wind in our sails at the moment with the share price potentially going up. So, yeah, very happy day for all shareholders today. Very pleased. And and you answered that like a good uh, broker. I was thinking of it as like a good geologist. The 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 hit rate is our friend, but you you were talking about the market too. But they go hand in hand. You you find I more gold, and, and and the share price looks after itself. Well, the good thing is you are fully funded. You, you took that money last November, which was significantly unsubscribed. But we had that other big hit, which pushed us up to ninety six cents. So from a funding perspective, if or purchasing shares perspective, the only really way to buy them is to buy them on market at the moment. You, you've got no plans to do a placement at this particular point in time? No, if we've got uh, you know, close to 12 million bucks as of last quarter, fully permitted, the rigs are turning, we've got a lot of good results ahead of us and uh, we think there's a lot of value inbuilt in in where where we're going. And uh, so so uh, we want to lower our cost of capital and uh, and... Now, if uh, if and when, because junior companies always do raise money, uh, we'll be raising money. It will be shareholders who get the first opportunities to invest. And I think it's quite telling that you have got twelve billion in the bank. What's your cash burn at the moment? A million dollars a month. So you've got a year at least, and you've got all these good announcements potentially pending. So there's, you're not going to be doing anything in the short term. So the only way to get script if you want to get in ahead of these other big announcements potentially coming out is to actually buy on market. Correct. Wonderful. Well, Mike, I know you've probably got another 50 of these to do this morning because Southern Cross has become very popular. Every time I go to lunch uh, to like the Melbourne Mining Club or go and meet with other brokers, as soon as I mention Southern Cross, they're like, oh, my God, I've missed out on that one. But I think a lot of people are taking note now that it's not too late to get in, that there's significant upside potentially for this year. Yeah, I know this is a real game changer, and I hate to use that term because it's bandied around, but this this hole is the most significant hole on the property, highest grade um, uh, in terms of uh, just amazing interception intercepts uh, and a 200-metre step out. So, you know, if, uh, if, if you by nature were sceptical, it's hard, it's hard to remain sceptical about this project when you, see, when you see the context of this hole and the results it's proven. Congratulations again, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Sean.